Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Down Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the stick. I'm holding it. And yeah, better. <laughs> and then we're playing Madden 20, the Ford and Anas. Yeah. As always, playing about the only sim in ID, using a balanced playbook, and playing in all Madden arcade mode. We did it. We got it in within 30 seconds. Is that is that what you're you're going for? No, not I didn't really. Realize that was our goal. I I've <laughs> had un, I have a lot of unknown goals that you don't know about. Yo, look, man. If we want to do rapid fire intros, man, we can start just like uh, micro machine and them, them bad boys <laughs> off. <You know? laughs> All right, right, now we're into the video. Yeah, I like that. I'll no, thirty it. seconds is good. I think right? I agree. As long as we don't, as long as we don't say anything controversial in the first minute and twenty five seconds. Well, why don't we just take a minute and twenty five seconds to do the intro? A minute and twenty five seconds of silence. <laughs> 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 then I'm like, oh, there is commentary on this video. Uh, yeah. Like oh, God. Oh, God. <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, God. Is that how you feel? Yeah, dude, that's how I feel. So what's on your mind today, Jonas? What you got for us? Oh, man. Um, what is a uh, type of meat? <laughs> Never mind. You don't Whoa. Meat. <laughs> We're going into the food. All right, let's get it. Nah, dude, I'm good. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. I was, I'm hungry, dude. I got I'm hungry, hungry as hell, man. You don't think I'm not? Yeah, dude. I feel you. Yo, so um, listen. You know what? Look, I'm gonna tell the Burger King story. Okay. All right. So there's a Burger King that I go to, uh, quite quite frequently. Got to get my my vegan Whopper. I, on. I don't ever go there. It's good, but you know, f it. People don't like Burger King. I go over there like a week ago, and I pull up to the drive-through. And just like lo and behold, there's a sign that says we are closed permanently. Please enjoy something at our other locations. Automatically, my mind starts reeling like that is not how you close a business. Now. <laughs> like usually it'll be like, hey, it's our grand closing. You know, we're only going to be open for another month or so. And we're offering some deals or something like that. Yeah, but that's a fast food restaurant. It's not a retail store. Yeah. But you think they try to get rid of all the food they have left in their freezer and stuff. Yes. At least like try to. Well, I mean, but I guess if it's a corporate store, they could ship all that food to another store. I mean, that's true, too. Because like, but even like, anyways, even yeah. like when they uh, closed down the McDonald's, that's uh, on uh, like, um, I don't want to say the street. Okay. <laughs> but, they closed uh, down. I didn't they even closed down anyways. the McDonald's and they actually like put a new one up. They like, oh, they, they like tore, tore it down and they they tore it down. rebuilt. Yeah, yeah by, over by the H-E-B. Yeah, the I one, that, one, yeah. <laughs> one where they try to sell me gold chains. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's a whole other story. Yeah. But even when they closed down that, that McDonald's, they let you know they were going to close it down. And then it closed down and it was gone for like a good like six months. And then it was back. Yeah, yeah. Because they had to place, rebuild a whole freaking restaurant. Yeah. This place, I'd been there like maybe five or six days prior. Don't at me about my Burger King consumption. And then I go there <laughs> five days later. And it just says it's closed. So automatically, my mind starts reeling. Like, what could cause a business closed down? Pepsi. Thank you. Is that was that in your brain? Yeah, I'm thinking like, what kind of food have they been feeding? Is there humans in the meat? Viruses, dude. They got coronavirus in there. Yeah, maybe the reason that my uh, Impossible Walker was so good is because it was made out of human. <laughs> you know, they sprinkle some crack on it. Who knows? Who knows? But it just seemed kind of odd. It was eerie, man. I feel you. Yeah, that's weird. Because right, you're right. They normally don't just like, they're not usually just like, and usually if it's it closes, it's, it's at the end of the month or something. You know what I mean? It's usually, there's usually yeah. like a, like a, we're closing at the end of February. Not like, yeah. hi, on January 24th, we're closing, like out of blue for no reason. Yeah, like, it just it, seems, it seems really weird, man. But you I know, agree, dude. Who, who am I? Who am I to judge what the economy is? They're affected with Burger King itis and they got closed. Yeah, it's a sad statement. Oh, and uh, our, our improv. Studio, Jones. Ah! Don't talk about that. Me and Jones have been doing improv for almost a year. Almost a year now. We've gotten. Uh, I feel like it's helped the channel a little bit. I, I feel so. Too. Yeah, probably. Yeah, especially when I have to come up with like topics right before the video starts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh I'll, God, don't do it. I'll just be like staring into the the, the sky. Oh God, he fumbled. And then I'll be like, hey, isn't it weird how girls have boobs and guys don't? And then Jones will be like. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> 
<laughs> what happened? He's planking. He's dead. Because he, well, he just kind of fell. He's like stiff as a board, dude. <laughs> well, he's a feather stiff as a board. Yeah, so Jonas, our, our improv studio is going to close I'm down. I'm happy about that because there's not another one close that I want to go to. So that pretty much means my improv career is over. Yeah, it's the institution in Austin, Texas, man. They've been open for 12 years, you said? Yeah, 12, you said, yeah. It sucks because like if we went to another school, we'd have to go back to level two. Because we wouldn't have to take level one because that's like intro. If you've proved yeah. you've done, cor- they won't make you do an intro. Yeah. But you'll have to jump in at two. What the fuck is going on? Is that the lowest they'll let you jump in? Is that? I two? think so because their 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 curriculum's different. Yeah. So it's like you need because you're you're in the advanced classes, but so that you're back at level two. Again. I honestly wouldn't mind starting at level two and just like being a beast, even though we're we're on like what level three, so yeah. it's not that much of a but degradation. I feel like we're us going into level two compared to where we are now. We're like hey. a lot farther ahead. Hey man, go in there and smash it. That's go in true. there and f and kill, man. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't mind doing it, but like it's like I. I, that's why I looked and was telling you about last night. Because if I could have found another class on Monday, I would have yeah. jumped immediately. Yeah. But none of the ones I looked at, because I'm not driving into, up north for sure. No. And and all the ones that are somewhat south, don't have, the classes on Mondays aren't. Yeah, man, because this one was perfect. It was on a day that accommodated both of us, or at least that we could both uh, work around. And it was only like 10 minutes away. Yeah, exactly. We could like, I yeah, exactly. It's not. And that's w- the worst traffic possible. It would take us 10 minutes to get there. Yeah, yeah. Man. It's like the cl- next closest one, if it was a bad traffic day, it'd probably take us 35 minutes oh, to get there. Dude. Just because we got to deal with like street lights and all that crap all for like seven miles. It's like seven miles away or farther. It sucks. Seven miles sounds like absolutely nothing. But in like city traffic at rush hour, it's terrible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, so yeah. I mean, I'm going to keep looking because if I can find a Monday class at some point, I probably, I just like, the, two of the schools are downtown, dude. I just don't want to deal with downtown on a weeknight right after work. I yeah. just don't want to do it. No, I don't blame you. And I then the other you. one is like, yeah, it's just they, they didn't have any classes on Monday, so. I mean, since it is ending, is, is there anybody you're going to ask out? No. No? No. What, what if I told you I was going to ask out Joe? You should. <laughs> you should. No. Oh, yeah. You think I should for real? Just ask what if I did? Just ask her to go out to dinner with you. Yo, not, we. <laughs> not like in like a sexual way. Uh, what, what, other, what, what other way? How, how do you sexualize dinner? <laughs> but not as like, not as a, not sexualizing dinner. Not like with the intent to be to like wine you dine you 69 you. I mean, but that is kind of my. Oh, I got you. <laughs> what other intent would I have? Well, why don't you ask her out then? There's like some inherent intent if you ask a girl out to dinner. I guess, yeah. I mean, it's guess it, you're at least saying, hey, I'd like to at least see what you're like. Yeah. You know? I don't I, I, Okay, they say, like, a girl can tell if she wants to F you in the first, like, 30 seconds of, of talking to you. Really? I kind of feel like with guys, it's, like, the first five seconds. Uh, I feel like we look at you, we're like, oh, I would not mind. And it's already decided. And then she can definitely open her mouth. And then say something that's just like, I'm not interested. I've had that happen multiple times. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Usually well, because of something like, well, racist. I, mean, I think everything, start, like, everything starts with, like, you look at somebody and you're like, oh, like, mm-hmm. I think they're attractive. Whether it's like, whether it's like, oh, my God, I want to F them or like, oh, that's a pretty girl or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, or even like, it means she may not even be, like, traditionally pretty, but you're like, oh, she's cute. I think she's attractive. Whatever. You know, everybody has their own flavor you know it, but, it's, it's, but i've had girls absolutely that i've been someone interested in that open their mouth and i'm like yes and i'm like oh my god what what kind of state- how high hot how hot you what are. kind of statement would it take for for that to happen to you i'll start because it happened to me recently i had a co-worker at the place that i am currently working at now yeah i got a job mother fudgers got a job thought she was hot was like hmm not bad started talking to her found out she had five kids that doesn't necessarily move her off the table. You know, maybe like some borderline what could be misconstrued as racist or racially insensitive commentary came from her. All of a sudden, my D goes limp. No longer interested. Mm-hmm. For you, 
what did it take for a girl? Is it just in stupidity, intelligence factor, or something along those lines? Uh, I mean, that definitely will uh, will do. Like, I ha- like. I. Uh-huh. I'm trying to think like exactly like. Uh huh. It's just like I think. Uh-huh. I don't think there's a standardized thing. I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to pay attention to the game and think. And I know I'm, I'll try to fill the dead air uh, if you right. like. Uh, well, <laughs> or, or we're you at could... the end of the half, so I was trying to like make things happen. Sure. Um, <laughs> I think like yeah, like be, being dumb. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Wow, all of that wind up. <laughs> well, dude, yeah, I being like, dumb. No, dude, I just can't like I can't put a finger on it like. It's just it's, it's not having anything to say. Yeah. It's just in general. Like it's more it's not even so much being dumb, it's just not having anything to say. I definitely dated a girl for a very long time where she was not very smart and I mean it's I don't know if it was just necessarily her upbringing, but uh she wasn't the smartest and it was just it's, it's off putting when you can't have an intelligent conversation with somebody. And that's a big thing for me. It's and it's yeah. one thing if I just like it's like oh we met and like we're going to hook up or whatever. But if like yeah. there's any intent about seeing you again, like yeah. I can't I can't. If like if I got to sit there and pull information out mm-hmm. of you like and it took me years to even get to the point where I reassess my values and what I value in a partner yeah. to not just physical beauty but it has to be some degree of uh, just intelligence oh yeah that that stuff is more important to me than how they look at this point in my life Jonas that is 100% but I've true. been like that for a long time I cannot say yeah, the same that's for fine. me. That's fair. You know, but on the same note, I didn't necessarily care if a woman stayed or left at right, a certain exactly. point either. Now, now, with that being said, like I have to think you're. I have to be attracted to you for sure. But like, do you have to be a ten, a mop? No, absolutely not. Like, no. I mean, that helps. Uh, yeah, I find. <laughs> but helps. I find that girls are that are that hot a lot of times don't have a lot to say. Well, nope, 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 nope. We can't do that. Can't push that narrative. <laughs> We can't do that. I'm not going to. <laughs> you already did. I did not. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Um, but I'm not pushing that narrative. I'm not pushing that narrative. But I'm not uh, do that. But yeah, no, dude. I would like. <laughs> yeah, like and I, I am completely cool with an average-looking girl, and I can find them gorgeous, beautiful, attractive, and all those things because if they have a great mind, boom, like automatically you're more attractive to me. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Honestly, yeah, I don't know. I'm definitely not looking for no women. I don't want any babies, man. <laughs> Do I want a baby? No. Yeah, so if a girl told you she had five kids, like, you ain't going to take that. You're not, you're not going to just be like, hey, okay, that, you know, five kids, uh, that's all right. Yeah. No. If you had said six, red flag. Five, I can handle. Yeah, right, yeah. Um... Yeah, dude, I can't. Mm-mm. No. What if, nah, she's, dude, what, if she, been... what if she had dogs? Oh, my, like. <laughs> <laughs> you made literally the same face that I that you made when I said that she had five kids. <laughs> she, she has two dogs. Is that, is that, wow. Here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the thing. <laughs> I'd rather have the kids than the dog. <laughs> um. <laughs> It, both of them, yeah, cause essentially cause the same thing to happen. What is that? Where pregnancy? It, <laughs> no, it limits your ability to do things okay. because you have other responsibilities. Okay, like if you have a child at home that someone's watching, yes. or your dog's been at home all day. Yeah, both of those were a reason that you have to be home at a certain time. Wow. Okay. Not saying one's more important than the other or whatever, but it's like, but like even like with cats, like if you got a few cats or whatever, that's fine. If you take care of them, whatever. But wow. people still like don't want to leave their cats alone for a long period of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like, um, and I, and maybe it's just because I've had no like strict responsibilities like that for a long time. I like the yeah, freedom to do what you, I want. You're, you're definitely coming across as a responsibility Nazi right now. <laughs> Like, I don't even like conversating with girls who have responsibility. <laughs> I just want to let you know we are in the, we are in the, like, the, the 1% of that. 
I know. Most no, of these I'm people just, out here got kids and responsibilities and wives and dogs. Oh, absolutely, and shit. dude. I'm not saying don't have responsibilities, but it's just like things that you like. I don't know. It's still limits. If I man. met a girl, like if I meet a girl and they have kids, great, whatever. It's not going to be a deal breaker. Like you said, if they got like a bunch of kids, that's nah, how many is a bunch? Two. I think one. Where's the cutoff, man? I think where's the cutoff? at this point in my life? One. One, maybe two. If, but like, if it's two, they got to be older. They can't be like two kids that are like two and three. You know what I mean? Like, one is probably. Oh my god! Yeah, dude. Well, You're effing up my anxiety like, over here just thinking here's about the it. the thing, though. I feel the older you are without kids, the more that you want someone else that doesn't have kids, but they're harder to find. Because it's the same yeah. thing, like, as people, like, as you get older or you get more educated or whatever. <laughs> you increase your chances of having kids? No, like, there's people who are like, not me, but people are like, oh, well, I've reached this stat. I'm like a doctor. I'm like, a, what I, like, I want to hang out with like-minded individuals. Sure. So it's like, you're like, I'm a single adult without a kid. Like, I would prefer to date another single adult that doesn't have a child because we can relate in that aspect. Yeah, and people with children often look for other people who have children. Right. That exactly. is very true. That is very it doesn't true. Mean I hate people who have kids. No, nah, but we when they see when they see somebody of our age without kids, Jonas, they look at us and we just turn into like a giant cartoon turkey leg. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I know it. Well, man. but that's it. if but that's if like um, we have our lives together. If you like, I feel like in, you know what's funny is one day we were hanging out with one of your friends at a friends? at a coffee shop. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. you said something to him that resonated with me. But you were talking to him, trying to motivate his ass. Yeah. You were like, you were the catch. You were a 30-something-year-old man Facts. with a job, Facts. a car, Facts. a place, no children. Facts. You have your life together. Facts. And I was like... Why like, are you I, dealing with these couch surfing? Right, right. Why are you dealing with girls who have nothing to offer you? And he was like, that's a really good point. And in the same time, you were telling this to him. In my head, I'm like, all of that applies to me. It so why am I all dealing us, with man. why am I dealing with chicks that have nothing to bring to my life? You gotta know your worth, right, dude? Know your was, worth, king. And it was and it was great because like you weren't telling that to me, but like it resonated with me, and I was like, that makes a ton of sense. Oh my god, listen to my vanilla king spitting. My spitting. vanilla king. <laughs> <Listen>. <laughs> I like that. Listen at him. <laughs> but yeah, it's a good like in like sexual you're, white chocolate over but you're, here. But you're with, with what you just said, you're right. Because if you if we meet like a woman who's like especially our age and she's single maybe has a kid maybe doesn't and she's like oh here's a grown ass man with a job a car a life respond he does he has other interests outside mm -hmm, of like mm -hmm. work and blah 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 like wow he has his stuff together like mm -hmm. yeah it's like yeah it makes sense and I've definitely had cute girls come up to me and be like hey we need to you know get this on and popping and I'm like hey you ain't got your ish together. You seem like it just seems like if you invite somebody in who doesn't necessarily have their stuff together or they have a lot of responsibility, it's going to be a detrimental impact onto your own life. And I don't feel the need to invite that kind of that type of impact in. Right. Yeah. I'm, the older I've gotten, the more I have to, like, seriously consider about who I let into my circle. hundred like, percent. You know, and there's different levels of circle. There's yeah. like acquaintance friend people who you're super close to you know like and it, yeah yeah yeah, yeah you know you. but it's like if i meet someone and like you're they could be the coolest girl i ever met but like if you don't have your crap together and what it's like it's, it's hard addicted for me to, to drugs. invest <laughs> what that's it or addicted to drugs right, or something right, like exactly. that exactly or you got like yeah or you got like five <laughs> kids and like and that you know honestly and that that's kind of like what my whole idea has always been about relationships is that I kind of want to keep my carbon footprint down. I want my life to affect another person's life as little as possible because I would hate if another person's life affected my life to right. a, an extent where it's like you are derailing some ish and in my life. And it's another thing if it's your partner and you want to be part of that. I mean, there's one thing if you wanted to be your partner, but if it's negative, it's negative. Right. If it's, I want a positive carbon footprint. It's perfectly fine. Oh, absolutely. If I enrich your life, there's a difference between a rich enrichment and effect, I guess. Right. Oh, no. And I agree. Like, I try to, anyone who is in, that is in my life, I try to enrich their life. Yeah. Like, I try not to ever cause issue in their exactly. life. Exactly. 
Like, I want to bring people in my life who have a positive impact on me. Yeah, Why would exactly. I not want to be a positive impact to people who I am part of their life? Exactly. It's like, uh, it's like I, I, I remember a long time ago, I met this guy through a girl that I worked with because I always work with women in my field. Yeah. But uh, I met a, it was her boyfriend. Met him. Cool guy. He played video games to the extent I did. Over his house, like 11 hours, did nothing but play video games and enjoy uh, alcoholic beverages. Yeah, yeah. Just super two guys cool. hanging out playing games. Yeah, it was super cool. Um, one day after I'd known him for like a week, he oh, I think you told me this he story. calls me up and asks me for a ride. Oh no, you didn't tell me this. No, story. it was something way less than that. <laughs> oh yeah, you did. I, you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to go with that story. But he asked me for a ride, and I'm like. Yo, I've only known you for a week, fam. You asking me for rides? Next, you're gonna be asking me for money. Then what? Then then what? You need a kidney transplant? Right, right, right. And I understand, Jonas. Simple. It means almost nothing. Right. It's like so small. But I'm still like, why would you even put my? Why would you put me in that situation? Is my thing. I wouldn't necessarily, for a person I've known for a week, ask them for a ride. Understand desperation kicks in. But I'd rather walk than put somebody else out. Bro, oh yeah, 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 for sure. No, I get it. Yeah, dude. There's there, like I can like it's like yeah. Like if I got to the point where like it would like I really needed something bad. Like there was a situation where I had to call up a few people. Like since I've lived in Texas, where I, I had to call people I didn't know very well and be like, I'm really in a bind. Can you? Are you able to help me in any way? Facts. Um, I've been there. But uh, it was a, it was the situation was warranted. But like I hate doing that. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, I get it, man. Like, it's like, if I don't know you very well, like it's, mm -hmm. it's like, unless it's like, it's, it's that or nothing. But like you yeah. said, even at, like a needing a ride, like I'd rather, yeah, walk or take the bus or call an Uber. Yeah, like, exactly. Then like call, especially someone I've only known a week. Yeah. And I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe people at home are like, just give him a ride. Do <laughs> what you problem. But I see where you're coming. It, it yeah. opens the door for, mm. Slippery it's like slope. the thing you said Slippery where like slope. you bought a girl lunch. Out of the kindness of your heart, and then later she's like, "What do you buy me for lunch?" Yeah, and you're where like, are we "Get going out of here!" Eat? You're like, "Now I'm not going to buy you anything ever again." Nope. <laughs> right. Exactly. So, all right. Anyway, so that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, send your mom to our channel because I'm sure she's a nice lady. I don't think moms are a demographic. Send your dad to our channel. There you go. Yeah. For Jonas. <laughs> TNT Dynamite. We are. Oh. You.